Welcome to another user training video for the database software of Seattle King County St. Vincent de Paul Society. In this lesson, you will learn how to log into the database, verify your email address, which is just a one-time task, and then retrieve the calls that are assigned to you. So let's go over to our web browser where you will need to enter in this address, Seattle ConfDB dot org slash confdb when you enter that it will bring you up to a logon page you should have gotten your username and password assigned to you by now which you can fill into this logon screen enter your conference you can see all the conferences are listed in this drop down. In this case, we have a demo conference, so I will enter demo and log in. This should bring you to this page where we need to confirm your email address. You just enter your email address in this field. Look at the directions, but uh, you say send me an email and it will verify that a link has been sent to you in your email. So you push continue and then look for an email to come in in your email box. Looking at the email, there it is. It just came in. When you open it, it will have this link on it. When you press the link, it will give you the message that your email was successfully verified. Clicking on continue, you uh, will come to the main page of your conference database system. Now that your email has been verified, if you are on the list of people in your conference who receive notifications via email, you'll get an email that when you open it uh, will look like this and you can click right here and that will take you directly to the new client neighbor request. Now that your email address has been verified, if you are one of the people in your conference on the list to receive email verifications, you'll get an email that looks like this when you open it. By clicking on this link, you can go directly to the neighbor client record as long as you're logged in. You may have to log in if you are not already. Now that we're into the main page, let's go ahead and take a look at a neighbor client file. By hitting the active link, you can see a list of active people. And let's pick everyone's favorite neighbor, Mickey Mouse. So you can see that uh, the top portion of this screen gives you the profile information on him. Gives you the name, address, contact, and background information. It also allows you to click and edit details if you need to. We'll also go over the revision history button, which allows you to go back over the revisions in this profile that have happened over time. Open requests is the next section down and is the most important section. It contains all the details on the current requests for help that this person has called in for. The assistant history at the bottom gives you the history of all the other requests this person has made and also your notes and records. The assistant history gives you the entire history of the details, your notes, all past requests from this person. Each conference should have one member that is designated as their conference administrator who will act as the first line of support for the other members in the conference. This is a good way to get a fast response and the best answer for your conference 
especially when conferences have different policies regarding this database. Our IT committee has a support line available via email at this address. When emailing, please provide a phone number as many questions can be much more efficiently answered if we're able to speak directly. Thank you for watching this video.